Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Su'ila nabiy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala akthari ma yurkhul al-nas الجنة قال تقوى الله وحسن خلق وسئل عن أكثر ما يرخل الناس النار قال الفم وفرج رواه مسلم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was asked on the thing that will cause people to enter into paradise the most. The Prophet ﷺ responded by saying, Taqwallah, fear in Allah, and good manners. Then he was asked, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, about the thing that will cause the people to enter into the hellfire the most. And he said, al fim wa faraj. This is collected in Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam It clarifies for us The importance of Taqwullah Azza wa Jal And that that will be a cause for us to enter into Jannah With the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala That the person who fears Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala By doing his commandments Staying away from his prohibitions that that will be a cause for them to enter Jannah. Along with righteous moral conduct, manners, good manners, being respectful to the elders, being respectful in treating one another, and being cautious with our tongue, what we speak about, backbiting, avoiding backbiting, and, and slandering people cursing people, and general bad speech, avoiding those things. That would be one of the things to be a cause for us to enter into paradise. And then he was asked, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about those things which people, cause people to enter into the fire. And he said, it would be because of the tongue in the private parts, meaning that by speaking ill, by cursing people, by not controlling our tongues or controlling our private parts, those things would be a cause for us to enter into the hellfire. Restraining them can help us get to Jannah. You, abusing that right will be a cause for you to enter into the fire. So, this is the conduct befitting of the believer. And this is what we should strive to be upon if you want to follow the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty. Accept our good and forgive our evil. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.